What is going on guys? It is Jesse back with Retro Zone Neon and you can see my face this time. All right guys, so it's time for a little update. I have moved and I am in my new place. As you can see, you can expect some more footage like this. I've got this nice brick background here. Uh, so you can expect that to be uh, in more videos coming up. Um, so that'll be cool, more face footage. The reason I didn't have a lot of face footage in a lot of my videos uh, before is because my apartment, I just didn't have a good backdrop pretty much anywhere. So that's gonna change, so you're gonna see more of this. But I just wanted to let you guys know that I have moved. So things are gonna be a little more permanent from now on. Um, I am starting a job on Tuesday. Uh, whenever this goes up, it was on Tuesday. Um, and I can go ahead and tell you guys what that job is. So I am a, gonna be a toy design intern at the Little Tykes company. So that's gonna be pretty cool. I'm excited for that. You guys probably won't hear pretty much any more details on that as I'm under a pretty strict uh, like non-disclosure agreement type thing. But know that I am employed in the toy industry so that's gonna be kind of cool. Um, but I'm gonna keep thrifting, keep collecting and doing my thing. So, without further ado, I have some pickups that I want to show off to you guys. As I was leaving Cleveland, I had some store credit at Big Fun. Uh, if you haven't seen the video about Big Fun, check it out right there. I had some store credit, so I went in there and used it up. So I got some stuff to show you, and uh, let's get to it. Alright guys, check out my new wooden table background. Pretty cool. Um, I'm just going with the very domestic type theme of the bricks and the wood. Uh, actually, that's just out of necessity. So I got this bag right here of stuff. We'll go through it. So, as you can see, I got some Power Ranger stuff and some other things. So, I got Goldar, which is pretty cool. Um, this is the eight inch premium uh, Evil Space Aliens version. It's pretty cool. See the price on it was 10. And then over here I also have Lord Zed, which is also pretty nifty. Um, he's in pretty good shape. He's got a little paint rub right there, but no big deal. This guy was eight. Does not include his weapon, but he is cool. And then I also got this guy. I want to say his name is like Bare Bones or Evil Bones or something. It's something Bones. But he's pretty cool and he came with his sword, which is pretty nice. And he has his cape. And he's in really good shape. And he was, I don't know, eight as well. And then this guy, I don't remember his name. It's something, it's like, a, I think it's Guitardo, something like that. Anyway, so he's pretty cool. These were all eight inch aliens line right here. And the price, so this one was seven, seven, eight, eight, and 10. And he gave me a deal on them for $23 for all of them. And again, this was store credit, so nothing out of my pocket. So I happily took that, to add to my collection. I have a bunch more of these, which you can see in one of my very earliest thrift haul videos. I think it's in one of my earliest thrift haul videos. I don't know. I may go grab them for this video because I might be a little bit on the short side, but we'll see. Um, so these guys, as well as I got some Masters of the Universe stuff. So I got this Spike Ore, which is pretty cool. He's in decent shape. His legs are in need of repair. He's like in soccer mode. He's gonna kick the winning goal. Uh, so he's pretty cool. I'm gonna fix his legs. I have a big old box full of stuff to fix as it is. I also got Tongue Lasher, whose tongue works just fine. Pretty cool. If you ask me, I didn't have this guy and he's in good shape. Legs are in good shape, arms, and came with his accessories, which is pretty sweet. If you ask me, he was 15. This guy, they charged me five because he was uh, just loose. And then I also got Mosquito, it was pretty cool. His play feature he pumps blood into his chest like a true mosquito does. So that's pretty cool, it still works okay. Um, so he's pretty cool, he was also 15, no accessories though. So I got these three Masters of the Universe, and then also got a Panthor, who is in pretty decent shape. Um, you know, they had a really, really nice one in the display case, but they wanted a lot of money for it. So they gave me this guy for, I think, five bucks. That is cool, and then there's one more thing, hold on. 
big old thing. I got a Battle Bones. How cool is that? Ah. And this Battle Bones is not broken. And it was only 12 bucks. Which is pretty cool. They had... So the story of this goes that they had... Uh, by their Masters of the Universe uh, display case, they had Battle Bones way up on the top. And I asked them, you know, for a Battle Bones. And I said, sure. And they went and got the ladder and got it down. Only to realize that several of its clips were broken somehow. Uh, so they went down into their basement or whatever and got me one that wasn't broken. So as you can see kind of the way this goes, it's like a troop carrier. You can stick your guys in it sideways. Move his arm up. See? And then they go into battle. So that was pretty cool, but they also threw in the broken one for free. Which is pretty cool. They, I guess they don't have much use for a broken one and they told me that I could have it and I could throw it away or use it for parts or whatever. They didn't really care. So that was nice of them. So all of this together was $67. They gave me a deal on everything. I did not pay sticker price for anything. Um, $67 and I had $65 in store credit. So I paid like three bucks out of pocket for all of this stuff, which is pretty dope. And the stuff that I traded in was all just junker stuff that I just had laying around that I did not want to move. Some of it was thrifted, some of it was just junk I had laying around. So that is pretty dope. Um, let me go grab my other Power Rangers aliens and show them to you really fast. So hold on. Alrighty, so here are my other ones that I have. I have this guy. You know, I can't remember the names of these guys. I, I looked them up and I knew them, but I forgot them. So there's these two guys, as well as this guy, which is like Armadillo guy, Armad it's like Armadillion. And I also had Lord Zed's weapon, which is pretty cool. They had a second Lord Zed that had his weapon, but I didn't get it because I knew I had mine. Perks of thrifting, am I right? So, so his weapon goes like that. You can see the big Z for Z, so that's kind of cool. And then these guys, they also had one of these, but I didn't get it because I already had one. And this guy, and I have this weapon here. If you guys know what this goes to, let me know. I haven't really spent any time to look it up. Kind of, I mean, it looks like this guy, right? Similar texture, but it could be for anything. I don't know. I thought it was for the witch chick, but whatever her name is. But uh, I don't think they made an 8-inch version of her, so... So anyway guys, that will about wrap it up. Appreciate you guys watching. Um, I will be back with another video soon. I start work on Tuesday, so that'll be neat. And hopefully I'll have some money to go thrifting with then. Won't be so broke all the time, which sucks. But hey, it's all good. So thank you guys for watching and I will be back later. Peace.